DIYs, cooking from scratch, gardening, animal husbandry. And it is pretty much jellified in here because it's not very practical to be lugging around or moving or dipping from a five gallon bucket. <laughs> safe at homestead where we do everything homesteading on a small scale so DIYs cooking from scratch gardening animal husbandry we are going to be making my liquid laundry detergent today I was asked for a liquid version when I shared my powdered version with you guys so let's do this this is super easy to do and you only need three ingredients I am going to make a really small batch uh, but it's really easy to make a gallon or five gallons of this. I have so much powder detergent right now I don't need any more, but I did want to get this done for you. So first off, let me get the, tell you the ingredients We're gonna need a uh, liquid Castile soap. This is a Sprouts version This is from Walmart. You can use Dr. Bronner's any Castile soap. I suggest just a scent free version because you never know exactly what they're using to scent your product so we are making this because yes it's cost effective much less expensive than buying uh, detergent and also because we want something that is as clean as possible so that we don't have chemicals in our detergent which means we won't have chemicals on our clothing or uh, towels, sheets, etc. because that all transfers into onto your skin which transfers into your bloodstream. Okay, I am going to make a half a gallon's worth of this so we're going to start with a half a gallon or a half a cup of Castile soap. Oops, okay, a half a cup of Castile soap. A half a cup of laundry booster or washing soda now this is not the same as baking soda so you want to make sure you get washing soda and you can find this in the detergent aisle at your grocers Walmart has it usually it's on the bottom shelf so you may not find it Ooh. if you're having trouble find, finding it look down the borax is usually down there as well Half a cup and half a cup of borax. Hold on, I have this partial box here. Okay, so in addition to this, you want, uh, a, well, since this is only a half a gallon, maybe two cups of hot water, boiling water. And what you're trying to do is dissolve all the product. Let's do, how much do I have here? A cup and three quarters, that should be enough. So we're gonna stir and dissolve this. Now, there are some very good um, there are some very good natural laundry detergents out there on the market. They are costly, but don't just go by the fact that it says natural. Um, there's a lot of greenwashing going on out there, which basically means that companies find a way to look good to the consumer. It looks like their product is natural, but they find loopholes so they don't have to disclose all the ingredients in their products. That's something that really bugs me. And um, so it might just say fragrance, for example. It doesn't tell you what the fragrances are or how the fragrances are made. And sometimes just fragrance can mean hundreds of ingredients that are put together, chemicals, to get a certain scent, but it's not a natural scent. That's just one example. So once this is dissolved, we're going to come back and add water to top it off. Okay, 
just to top this off. Half a gallon. So we're just going to leave this overnight and what you're going to find in the morning is a gelled product and uh, so thick and gelled. Hey friends, it's the next day and I wanted to show you what the laundry detergent looks like today. So here we have it. See it's now um, went from being clear to being opaque white and it is pretty much jellified in here. So all you need is a quarter cup, like I mentioned. And I don't know if you can see that it's semi-solid. So that is it. That's how easy it is to make your own laundry detergent. It is safe. Uh, not only for you but for your machine it is cost effective give it a try so all i use is a quarter cup of the laundry soap in my washer you can use it in um, high efficiency washers it's not going to ruin your your washer and um, my husband's dirty t-shirts from work he works in a warehouse comes clean with this detergent and with a half a gallon you're going to get 32 uses then or 32 loads and if you do a gallon, you'll get 64. If you want to do uh, a five gallon bucket, if you have a large family and that's more practical for you, then all you will do is use a 32 ounce um, container of Castile soap and pour that into your five gallon bucket. So that's four cups, four cups of your borax. four cups of your washing soda and enough hot hot water to melt the whole thing stir it well till everything not melt but dissolve dissolve uh, all your ingredients and then you're going to top it off with just cold water and then you're going to stir that very well and leave it till overnight and it's practical to decant that into a smaller container because it's not very practical to be lugging around or moving or dipping from a five gallon bucket but whatever works for you that's what uh, you can do okay so i am super happy that i was finally able to make this video for you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up if you know anyone that would like it please share it with them until next time you guys take care bye